Use interval notation to write the domain of the function. Here's all they really want us to find on these. And we're going to be doing this in the next unit as well, which everyone, to my understanding, is extremely excited about and can't wait for, polynomials. Uh, <laughs> well, all we're saying for the domain is that, specifically since the x is in the denominator, that's all we're really looking at is the denominator. We need to find out values of x that will not work. We don't even care about this numerator right here. It doesn't matter. And it won't matter in the future either. We're just concerned with this 2x plus 16. There's a value this can never equal. And that's, maybe if you guys remember, you can put this into a calculator. Anything divided by 0, it's going to give you an error. That's because your denominator cannot equal 0. And we can solve it like this as well. So I'm just solving this inequality for x. So I would subtract 16 from both sides, and it's still not equal to. So I got my 2x here, and 0 minus 16, I mean, you could put that into a calculator, negative 16. Now, we'll divide both sides by 2, and we get x cannot be negative 8. Well, that doesn't really help us with interval notation. It just tells us what it can't be. However, graphing it may be helpful. Uh, of course, it may not be. Well, I'm taking a chance here. So I got negative 8. Uh, since it can't be negative 8, it does go all the way to the left. Just it kind of stops here, so it's not included. You guys remember how we use those curvy brackets like this? But then it goes to the right, starting at 8, which isn't included. You see how the graph works like, like that right there? So, and again, this may or may not be helpful. I'm rolling the dice. I've got this. It goes from negative infinity and stops at negative 8, which is not included. I'm going to unite that, starting at negative 8, and this is going to go all the way to the right to infinity. That would be the interval. It didn't tell us to graph, but again, maybe that's helpful. I don't know. I apologize. That is the domain. We would write the domain as this. Yeah, what, what this means, the domain specifically, is that x can be any number but negative 8. It could be negative a billion. It could be negative 3.2 or 506. Choice is yours. And you could solve for a specific value that would give you a real number in the function. But as soon as you put negative 8 in there, no good. So the question is, well, what if, um, what if there was no x in the denominator? Something like, even if it was x over 4 like this? Well, the denominator here will never be 0. Sorry. I don't want to get in trouble. I think that's formal. f of x is x over 4. So that would just be, the domain specifically would be from negative infinity to infinity. It has no stops. It can be any value, x can be any value, and we would still get a real value out of that function.